we are going to write a proportional and a non proportional word problems and display them using Excel. Step one, write the word equation that you wrote on your piece of paper. He runs at seven feet per second. Then I want you to write the equation. Y equals seven feet per second. That's seven feet times X. Next, you're going to make a table. The X goes in the first column. The Y goes in the second column. Seconds is my in, uh, independent information. And the Y is my dependent information, which is the word feet. For the seconds, you want to input numbers that you're going to plug into the equation. One, two, three, four. For the feet column, we must use a formula. Start with an equal. Then you want to do seven, just like the equation, times the number of seconds. The value of x is stored to the left of the equation. So your equation is equal seven times cell A9. When you hit enter, it will do the calculations for you. Click in the corner of the box when your white cross turns into a black cross. And if you drag down, it will repeat that formula. If you notice, this formula now says a 7 times a 10. This formula says equal 7 times a 11. And this formula says 7 times a 12, which is the cell to the left. Now we're going to graph it. To graph it, highlight both rows, click on Insert, click on Scatter, click on the one that has the straight lines connecting the dots, and it will make a chart. You're probably going to need to shrink the chart so that it fits next to your word problem. We also need to click on the word Design. Make sure you click on the chart, click, make sure the Design tab is showing, and click on the one so that you can see all the information going around it. Change the title to your word equation. He runs at 7 feet per second. Change the x information to the independent variable. The independent variable is the seconds. And change the y information to the dependent variable, which is the feet. You may delete this extra information off. Then you need to tell me the three reasons why that this is proportional. Explain why this is proportional. The first reason the graph would extend through 0, 0 if I extended this line. The second reason is I need to simplify by dividing, typing in equal, the y value divided by the x value. So click on this box, click on equal, click on the y value, click on divide by, click on the x value, hit enter. That is how I simplify the ratio of y over x. And as it turns out, y divided by x, I'll simplify to the exact same value of 7. The third reason that this is proportional is that the equation y equals 7x has no adding or you add a zero to the equation.